I'm sure I'll be playing this game quite a bit in October. And, you know, um, as I'm recording this, it's still September. Wow, that was a jump scare if I've ever... <laughs> If I've ever seen one. Hello, everybody. This is Trevor Truck ASMR. And what's really cool right now is that we are starting out on the latest map. And yes, I'm sure it's old news by now, but. The alien is in this game. Actually, there he is right now. Good old alien. He's very friendly once you get to know him. I I think I'm cursed or something. Like, somehow, the monster, the creature, the killer always tends to go for me first. It never fails. Thank you. But we've definitely got to get out of here. No way that we can stay. Uh, wait. Okay. Let's get to somewhere safe. Somewhere a little bit more secure than where I was before. And... And I'm gonna go ahead and heal up myself. Take a little time to rest because, well, we all need some time to rest. So the alien here is a pretty formidable foe. But I'm sure if we try our best, we can win this thing. I mean, I'm pretty confident in us. I'm very confident that we can get out of this trial alive. That is not a scream of fear. It is a shout of determination. What's this? Oh, the flame turret. Yeah, you know what? I'm not really going to get into that right now. Let me heal you. You're one of the newer characters, so... We're just going to get all of the new stuff in this one video. Because you know what? I like to stay... I like to stay topical. Very slowly over the ledge. I do not want to get any... Let's just say negative attention. Okay. There's the alien. Mr. Alien did not see me. Because like I said before, you know, I blend in to the environment. I think, I think my costume is some type of area rug. Oops, he's getting pretty close. He's getting pretty close and I don't like that. You know, I need, whoops. I pretty much tipped him off. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. These episodes are going to be so, so short. Because I keep getting killed. Oh, what an ugly looking... I don't even know what this is. I guess all you can really call it is an alien. And there we go. Hook number two. And for the second time, A Great Rescue by Gabriel. I think that's his name, right? Gabriel? I think so. Anyway, the point is I'm being rescued. Now, as I'm recording this, it's a Saturday night. Just trying to set the scene for you. It's a quiet Saturday night. Oh, that's a beautiful skybox up ahead. And you know, I'm, I don't, I don't usually record 
on Saturday nights. So I'm just living it up, trying to relax. Life has been its usual mix of ups and downs. There's kind of been more downs as of late, I must admit. Just a lot of things thrown at me at once. Um, and because of that, partly because of that, I haven't really been able to record as much as I would like to, but with Halloween coming up pretty soon, I would at least like to try to get more Dead by Daylight in. So I hope that I can make it a thing because um, I know Dead by Daylight will have its annual Halloween content. And I think I would like to show my progress on that, if possible. I don't know quite what uh, is going to be planned for that, but rest assured, I'm excited. I'm actually really excited. I want to try to earn all of the special Halloween cosmetics. There's the alien. Well, I did what I had to do. Oh, he took a hit for me. Thank you so much, my good sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, my timing was way off. Okay, well, it doesn't take an astronaut to know how this one is going to end. Hello, everybody. Here we go with our second match. This time... I've chosen to wear a darker type of dress for Yunjin because I think I'll blend in more with the environment. But I, I decided to keep the light white purplish hair. Ooh, is he coming? I don't, I don't know who the killer is. Who's the killer going to be? The Clown. The Clown. Okay. Mr. Clown is not clowning around. I don't know about you all. I don't really go up against a lot of clowns. Oh, no. But my curse continues, right? The killer found me. And I only happened to get away because someone else was there with me. Let's take a risk here. You know, sometimes you roll the dice and it just does not work out in your favor. Oops. Sorry about that. That might delay you just a little bit. But I'm not safe. Definitely not safe yet. Because Mr. Clown, he's... He's fast. He's fast for his age. Okay. I'm gonna try to take it easy. Not gonna panic yet. Just gonna go around this corner. And I'm gonna start to heal myself. Oh, nice job, guys. Nice job. On to another one. Actually, I like this costume. It looks really good. Maybe the hair doesn't match, but it's okay. No sign of the clown. Uh, except for that. That's a pretty good indication that the clown is around. Yikes, that's scary. All right. I'm 
so let's let's find ourselves another gin. Just gonna run. I used to be really paranoid of the blood trails, but the thing is, uh, well, the blood trails and the trails that are left when you run. But you know, I realized that we just we gotta get this stuff done. You know, gotta get this work done. I hear him. He's getting closer. I'm just gonna hang out right here for a minute. Okay? Coast is clear. I think. Yeah, we're experiencing some lag. I've noticed the game is a little bit weird. The internet, I don't think, is cooperating 100%. All right, clown, show up. I know you want to get this gin. Oh, clever. Very clever stuff. But it's not going to be enough. He doesn't know that I'm here. He doesn't know. I wonder where he's going to go next. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't say it's like a hundred percent safe. Yeah, still not a hundred percent safe. He is obsessed with this one. Just as he's obsessed with the one that was upstairs. Ooh. Okay. Watch this trick I learned. It's called drop the pallet early and get stunned by the clown. Oh boy. Okay, but I'm I'm within range. I always appreciate the quick rescue. And I think the clown, okay, yeah. The clown is occupied. The clown is occupied. You ever take the time to read the clown's backstory? It's really messed up. It's super messed up. And it really serves t to make the clown, I think, an even scarier killer. Alright, so we're just about there. We're just about there. Okay. The question that I have is, did we finish, did we finish the, um, the generator it was up here? We did not. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna help Cory, the potato, get this one done. And then we'll have one more left. Oh, this is exciting. I would sound more excited, but this is ASMR. Done and done. Realistically, if you drop down from that height, that would definitely be enough to break your ankles. I wish this game would address that. I mean, I would give this game a 10 out of 10 if only the fall damage were a little more, I don't know, realistic. Okay. The clown is very close right now. Oh, let's do the rescue thing. Let's try it at least. Oh, it's not going to be enough. He's right there. Wait a minute now. I mean, every time I try to be sneaky, every time, it's a fail. 
here he comes. I'll try to draw his attention while my friends rescue. Oh, I'm a little bit blinded. I can't see very well. I think, I think we're okay. That was just a little crazy, but I think we're okay. Let's go for the door. Demon Slayer is still on the hook. So I'm going to do this strategy that I've done before. You can say it's good. You can say it's bad. And you can say it's not happening because the clown has interrupted my beautiful plan to save Demon Slayer and the game. I'm going for the hook. I, I can't let him. I can't let this happen. I'm just going to take the L on this if I have to. Okay, let's go. Ghost is keeping the clown occupied right now. So the only thing left is to get this gate. Clown is coming this way. Get ready for an attack. Whew, this is really testing out my athletic limits. Gotta tell you. Alright, clown. I know you want me. I know you want me. <laughs> that was a weird animation. Not today, my friend. You're not gonna get me today. In fact, watch this. Oh, never mind. That didn't quite work. Okay, well, there we go. So, it's like, <laughs> I don't know who sings it, but uh, it's like in Shrek 2, where the fairy godmother sings that one song, I Need a Hero. Do you remember that? That's the song that's in my head right now. Like, I need a hero. <laughs> I, I truly... You know what? I needed a hero, and I truly got one. This is what Dead by Daylight is all about. Teamwork. Helping each other to survive. That was a great game. And actually, I do need to comment. I need to comment. Let me do that right now. GG... Nice save. Because that was really, um, well, that was fantastic. These are the types of Dead by Daylight matches that I like to play. Some of them are really bad. You know, some matches are like every person for themselves. And I don't like that. I like matches where teamwork is involved. And that was a good match with teamwork. Okay, everybody, well, I hope that you've had some fun. I hope at the very least you were able to fall asleep and relax. And I hope to play some more Dead by Daylight. So, good night, and I'll see you in another video. Alright, bye.